Hi everyone, so this is question number 52 from gate D 2024 paper and this question is from again data structures, data structures and uh, full binary trees exactly okay. This is a two mark question and a multiple select question. Cool. So let H, I, L and N represent the height, number of internal nodes, number of leaf nodes and total number of nodes respectively in a rooted binary tree. Not full binary tree, just a rooted binary tree, it should be binary tree. Then which of the following statements is or are always true? So you have some conditions on I, L, N, H and L. So let's first try to draw it. So generally what happens, whenever you want to find the minimum number or maximum number of leaf nodes or total number of nodes or leaf nodes, see the number of internal nodes or leaf nodes or even the number of nodes in a graph will be maximum if the, if the graph is a full binary tree, right? right? It is a full binary tree like this. This is a complete binary tree. Okay, so if the graph, if the tree is a complete binary tree, then the number of nodes will be maximum. Number of leaf nodes will also be maximum. Number of internal nodes will also be maximum for a given height, for a given height. And it will be minimum if the tree is just a chain like this. For a given height, the number of internal nodes, the number of leaf nodes will be minimum if the tree is just a chain. And it will be maximum if it is a complete binary tree, correct? So always use these two to calculate the minimum and maximum. So the first option is, so for example here, this is an internal node, this is the root and also an internal node. Every node which is not a leaf node is an internal node. This is an internal node, this is an internal node, this is an internal node. And this is a leaf node, leaf node, leaf node, leaf node. So here the number of leaf nodes is four. Here the number of internal nodes is three. Total number of nodes, so uh, yeah, total number of nodes is seven and the height of this tree is two. Height is the distance between the root and the leaf. So height is two. And similarly here, the number of leaf nodes is one. There is only one leaf nodes. The number of uh, internal nodes is three. Height of this tree is one, two, three. And total number of nodes is four. This is the minimum case. This is the maximum case. Okay. We should have done it for the same example actually. So for n equal to three only we can do it. For h equal to two only let's do it so that we can answer the questions. Let's calculate this also for h equal to two. So this is root and let's calculate for h equal to two. So if h equal to two, number of leaf nodes is one and uh, number of internal nodes here is two. This is in leaf node, this is an internal node and total number of nodes is three. So for height two, the maximum number of nodes will be 7 and the minimum number of nodes will be 3. Right? And similarly for height 2, the maximum number of internal nodes will be 3 and the minimum number of internal nodes will be 2 and so on. First option is, I uh, the number of internal nodes plus 1 will always be greater than equal to L. So it is just trying to say that the total number of leaf nodes, the total number of leaf nodes will always be less than or equal to I plus 1 we have to find the minimum number of leaf nodes. Uh, sorry, the maximum number of leaf nodes because they are saying that the number of leaf nodes will be always be less than or equal to i plus one. So here, if you see this case, the number of leaf nodes are four and i plus one is also four. So L is actually, the number of leaf nodes here is actually equal to the number of internal nodes plus one. This is a complete case. And here it, it has maximum number of leaf nodes. Right. So here, if it agrees in, in the in the complete diagram, if it agrees, then in any other case, it will definitely agree because why? here also you can see the number of leaf nodes is only one and number of internal nodes is two. So definitely L is uh, less than or equal to I plus one. So the worst case, worst case scenario for the first option is this only. And they, uh, in this scenario, it agrees. It will always happen that uh, here you will have two to the power H. Uh, minus one nodes and here you will have uh, two to the power h nodes. So definitely the number of leaf nodes will be less than or equal to two to the power h minus one plus one, which is number of internal nodes plus one. So first option is correct. In the second option, they are saying that the number of nodes is always between height plus one and two to the power h plus one minus one. So the number of total number of nodes will be minimum total number of nodes will be minimum if the graph is just a chain right so here the number of total total number of nodes will always be height plus 1 
total number of nodes will always be height plus one, right? Because it is just a chain. So number of nodes will always be greater than or equal to h plus one, which is correct. And what is the maximum number of nodes possible in the complete tree? So in the complete tree, uh, you will have height h. So the total number of nodes will become two to the power h plus one minus one. Because here you have h equal to two. So total number of nodes was two to the power three minus one, which is seven. And if you have h equal to three, then you will have uh, eight more nodes. So it will become two to the power four minus one, and so on. So the maximum number of nodes is two to the power h plus one minus one, which is also correct. Right? And you can see this example here also. Number of nodes is two to the power h plus one minus one. Okay. Now let's see option C. Option C is saying that number of internal nodes will be at least h. So which means that what is the minimum number of internal nodes again in this tree? Right, where the tree is just a chain. So here the number of internal nodes will will be equal to the height. Right, this is the least number of internal nodes possible. So which is correct? I is always greater than equal to h. And what is the maximum number of internal nodes? Again, you you just see the complete tree. So the number of internal nodes is two to the power h minus one, which is the maximum number of internal nodes possible. So option C is also correct. Now if you see option D. It is saying that the number of leaf nodes will be at least h. That the number of leaf nodes will be at least the height of the tree, which is not correct, right? The number of leaf nodes can be one also. Here in this case, the height was two, and the number of leaf node was one. You can even increase height. You can you can have hundred height, and still the number of leaf node can be one. So this is not correct. That number of leaf nodes should be at least h. This this statement is not right. Actually, the number of leaf nodes can be one also, so this is not right. Option A, B, C are correct. Hi, if you want to register for Gate CS or DA, you can go to the website ravindrababuravla dot in, and all our courses are on the website. And if you go for live classes, you are going to get live classes, live doubt such uh, doubt clearing, and after the classes also there is doubt clearing. Every day you are going to get practice questions, and there is test series with Gate CS and Gate DA. And if you want to do masters abroad, you can take study abroad program. Okay, thank you. Hi, on tenth of March we are having All India test for both Gate CS and Gate DA. So the reason for having this test is so that at the beginning of the preparation you will know where you stand in the competition. Your rank you will know that. And then at the end of the preparation, I mean every month we are going to have one test, and at the end also we are going to have all India test, so that you will see what your how you are improving and where do you stand in the competition. And if more students write this exam, then the results will be very accurate. They will be almost as like a gate exam. So just to encourage more students to write this exam, we are having cash prizes also. If you get first rank in gate CS, you are going to get fifty thousand rupees. If you get First rank in Gate DA, you are going to get fifty thousand rupees. Okay, and now how to write the test is you you go to test series on the website ravindrababuravla dot in. Go to ravindrababuravla dot in, and you go to test series, and then you are going to get free test series, and in the free test series. And in the free test series, you can see All India Gate exam view details. Then you are going to see two gate tests. Tenth March, ten a.m. is Gate CS test, and tenth March, two p.m. two p.m. is Gate DA test. Okay, so don't worry. I will not make your ranks or the results public. I will not post your name with your marks anywhere. I will keep keep them confidential. And uh, if you want to find out your results, uh, the number is available in the website WhatsApp number. You can WhatsApp us, and we will send the results only to you. Okay, thank you. <coughs>